Hi friends, in this session we study about the mensuration. It is our introductory session of mensuration. First, I want to explain you about the mensuration. I would like to define the mensuration first. The branch of geometry dealing with measurement of length, area or volume or the branch of mathematics which deals with the study of geometric shapes, their area, volume and related parameters. So, this branch is called mensuration. In our real life, we have seen so many objects uh, surrounding us of different shapes. They are all belongs to mensuration or the geometry. So, first I would like to explain you the classification of geometric shapes. Here we have classified mainly in two ways the geometric shapes. Number one is plan figures. Number two is solid figures. The plan figures, it is two dimensional figure, which is a combination of points and lines that form a visible palpable shape. It has length and breadth. The visible, the visible palpable shapes means it should be touchable and it should be visible. So it is the two dimension figures. Now the solid figures, if we study, it is three dimensional figure which is a combination of plans that form a visible palpable shape. So visible palpable shape means here also the touchable shapes palpable here the touchable it has length breadth and height one things include here height extra from the plan figure. So first I want to explain you the dimensions. If I draw a point here. So this is our point. And point has no dimension. Now, if I put the points in a row, so many points in a row, and join them this way. So, this is called a line, and line is one dimension figure. It is one dimension figure, line is one dimension. If I put so many lines together beside these lines and again uh, the perpendicular to this line, I put so many lines in this way, I explain you. If I put in this way, there is one line, I put another line, then another line. So in this way, I put so many lines here. So many lines are here near to each other. Besides each other, I have put it. So many lines. So in this way, I get a plane, which is two dimension. I explain you here. And just a moment, I take some different, uh, in this way we get this sort of plan here. And I fill this plan, this, this is our plan now. So I have put so many lines here. So, it will make a plan. Or, it is a plan now. Plan is two dimension figure. Two dimension figure. There is one length, and second one is breadth. Okay, here a line you see, or oh, there is only one thing. There is only length, and the point it does not have any length, breadth, or height. So it is the no dimension. If I put uh, so many plans perpendicular uh, besides the uh, besides a plan, uh, then we see what happens now. So look at here. Here another plan to perpendicular to this. Another plan then perpendicular to this. Now 
other plant perpendicular to this the so many plants near to each other which are perpendicular to the first plant so i put in this way so here you see i join these all with a different color so you could easily uh, understand this join this here see what happens now look at here so here we get uh, that uh, solid is our solid figure we are getting here so it is our solid figure it is three dimension three dimension figure it is there's length Uh, there is breadth, and this one is height. So we have length, breadth, and height here. Uh, so in this way, we got this all length, breadth, and height. So, this is the difference between all the dimensions, uh, the point has no dimension, uh, line has one dimension figure uh, which has only length and the plane has two dimension figure which is length and breadth and the solid has three dimension where the length, breadth and height all the three variables are there. So, now I show you some figures which are two dimension and three dimension. Here you see in the plane figure, the two dimensional figures, you see there is a rectangle, there is a length and breadth, there is a circle. If we cut anything from a plane, we get this sort of different sort of shapes we would get the over there. It may be circle, it may be square. It may be square, it may be parallelogram, rhombus, triangle, any sort of shapes you cut out from a plane. And when you cut from a solid, give the shape then you could get different solid figures three dimensional figures would be there like cylinder cube cuboid cone sphere prism and pyramid so this sort of uh, figure you would if you and groove any solid in a proper shape you could get any sort of shapes over there uh, solid figures you will get over there so these are called the solid figures so in this session, we have studied about the mensuration, its introduction, then classification of figures, plan figures, solid figures, and we have studied about the dimensions.